quantity, every physical quantity has its own units. Okay, so length. Okay, so length is the physical quantity, what you measured. Okay, and 20, we call it as a magnitude. Okay, what is the value? Okay, and CM, we call it as a unit. Okay, and for the speed of the car, okay, the speed of the car, we measure what? We measure speed of the car. Okay, so that is called as a physical quantity. Okay, and 19 kilometer, right, that one is a magnitude, okay, a value. Okay, uh, and then kilometer per hour, okay, kilometer per hour is actually a unit. Okay, so this one you have to uh, differentiate. Okay, because sometimes they, they ask you state the physical quantity uh, that be, uh, that measured by the thermometer. So let's say the question say here, state, okay, state physical quantity, okay, that being measured by thermometer, okay, so the answer should be temperature, okay, temperature, okay. So sometimes uh, when uh, when student answer this question, they will put the unit as the physical quantities. Okay. So if the question asks state the SI unit uh, that be measured by temp thermometer, then you can put degree Celsius or Kelvin. Okay. Uh, so if only physical quantity, you only put a uh, temperature. Okay. Uh, what you measure? Thermometer measure what? The thermometer measure. Okay, so I hope you are clear okay, what is a physical quantity, what is a magnitude and what is a unit. Okay. okay, and then you have studied base quantity in form 1. Okay, so can you identify the base quantity in figure 1.2? So form 1, you are doing the 5 base quantities. Okay, so 5 base quantity. So from this, okay, from this diagram, Okay, so we have to uh, detect which one is the base quantity. Okay, so the first one is time. Time, okay, and then length, okay, and then temperature, okay, and then um, mass, okay. Right, another one is electric current, okay. So, this is the five base quantity that you learn in uh, form one. Okay, but uh, so, but we will do a revision. Okay, I'm sure some of you already forgot, right? Because form one is like three years ago. Okay, so maybe some of you already forgot, but okay, I will put it here. Okay, so the five base quantity that you already learned from form, form, form one. Yeah? So, time, okay. The symbol is T, okay, and the unit is in second, okay, and S, okay, and then length, okay, length, the symbol is L, the unit is in meter, okay, and then the symbol is M, okay, and then, then electric current, okay, electric current, the symbol is I, okay, the unit is actually M here, and the symbol is A. Okay, and then next one is a temperature. The symbol is T. Okay, so you have to be careful. Small capital letter, okay. Small, uh, small letter and capital letter. It's very different. T and T. Okay, different symbol, different meaning. Okay, and this is a Kelvin. Okay, the symbol is K. Okay, and then last one is a mass. The symbol is M. Okay, the unit, uh, the unit is kilogram and the symbol for unit is kg. Okay, for this five, right, you have to remember. Okay, you have to remember this five. Okay, five base quantity. Okay, the symbol, the unit. Okay, I know temperature, we mostly use a degree Celsius, right? Okay, but in physics, that's our unit for temperature is actually Kelvin. Okay, so how you want to change from uh, degree Celsius to Kelvin? Okay, 
Okay, so I give you an example. So let's say I want to change 70, uh, 73 degrees Celsius to uh, Kelvin. Okay, so what you have to do, you have to add 273. Okay, 273, so you got 343 Kelvin. So anything uh, that if you want to change from degree Celsius to Kelvin, so you just add 273. Okay, so let's say from Kelvin to degree Celsius, okay, so you have to minus 273. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. For physical quantity, so physical quantity that will be divided into two types. Okay. Right. So physical quantity is the quantity that can be measured. Anything. Right, so at that one already, uh, I already discussed before. Okay, and physical quantity that can be divided into two. So the first one we call it as a base quantity, and the second one we call it as a derived quantity. Okay, so what is the base quantity? So the base quantity are the quantity that cannot be defined in terms of other base quantity. I mean, this one is the a simplest. Okay, simplest quantity you cannot. Uh, make it more simple. It's very, very already simple enough. Cannot be derived to anything. Okay. Uh, so, this is called as a base quantity. Okay. So, remember the five base quantity that we discussed before. This one. So, this one is a base quantity. Means you cannot derive. This is the very simple, uh, simplest form. Okay. Right. So, that is a base quantity. Okay, what is a derived quantity? Okay, derived quantity is one which is obtained okay, by combining base quantity by multiplication, division or both this operation. Okay, so for derived quantity, okay, you can obtain okay, by using the base quantity, okay, the five base quantity that we, uh, we learned before. Okay, you combine it by using multiplication, division or both. Okay, so example, okay, example, I give it to you. Alright, so let's say for area. Okay, so area is uh, length times width. Right, so length is in meter and width also is in meter. So you got meter square. This is the unit, right? So you can see you multiply the unit. So this is called as a derived quantity. Okay. So, you use the base quantity, meter and meter is a base quantity, right? Okay, you use the base quantity, okay, and then you buy, and then you multiply it, okay, and then you got a derived quantity. Okay, or uh, another thing, let's say for, for density, okay, density is mass divided by volume, correct? So, mass is in kg, volume is a meter cube, okay? So, you use the division, Okay, this is the base quantity, right? Okay, base quantity. Okay, so you use the uh, division to get another unit. Okay, to get another unit. So this is called as a derived quantity. Okay, or another, let's say for uh, acceleration. Okay, acceleration V minus U divided by T. I think I already learned this one. Okay, on the max from 3. Okay. So, V minus U, V is actually is M S negative 1. Okay. And time is in second. Okay. So, you get M S negative 2. So, you see, you use the uh, base quantity, okay, base quantities to get eh, another unit. Okay. By using, this one you're using multiply and this one you're using division. Okay, uh, this one you use both multiplication and division. This one only multiplication. This one is multiplication and division. Multiplication, why? Because volume is meter times meter times meter, right? Okay, so means you use this one. The low part, you use the multiplication. And then the uh, you divide, right? Kg divide by meter cube here, right? So this is called as derived from Kg. Okay, right. So this is the base quantity that I already explained before. But for from four physics, right, they add two more. Okay, before we learn five, 
Okay, form 1, we already learned from uh, 5 base quantity. So, when we go to form 4, okay, and then you take physics, then we add 2 more. Okay, so the, there is a luminous intensity. Okay, and then the unit is candela. Okay, and then one more is the amount of substance. And, okay, this one, the SI unit is more. So, this is uh, for chemistry. Okay, uh, this Teacher. is chemistry. Yes. What is luminous in intensity? Luminous intensity means the light intensity. Okay, the light intensity. Okay. Right. So it's a light intensity. Okay. Uh, so this seven base quantity, right, you have to remember. Okay. Uh, five from one, two from four. Okay. So this is actually the apparatus that we use to measure. Okay. Okay. Okay, for this one, it's actually how you can determine the area and the volume. Okay, so I think you already know the okay, area is length and width, and then if the volume is length and width times the height of the object, right? So this one I will not explain. Okay, uh, I already explained area and volume is a derived because they use multiplications. Okay. Alright, and then this one, a derived is related to the base quantity through a formula. Okay, so derived is related to base units in the similar manner. Okay, so derived quantity is the density. Okay, so this is mass divided by volume. Okay, then means meter times meter times meter. Okay, so this is kg. This is meter times meter times meter. So you got kg m power power of 3, so become kg and power of negative 3. Okay. okay, so for this part, okay, for this part, okay, we will do together, okay. So, any question uh, before I move on to this part? Anything that you Anything didn't that you No, teacher. No. So far, are you clear? Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Alright, very good. Okay, so the first one, right, area, okay, so this one we already done before, okay, okay, so length is in meter, okay, width also in meter, okay, so M times M, so become M square, okay, M square. Right. Okay, and then for the volume, okay, for the volume, okay, so length is in meter, the unit, we got meter cube, okay, so this is the derived, okay, derived quantity, and this is called as derived unit okay and then for the density okay so mass is in kg okay so how about the calculate again so you got kg3 okay so for you uh, for those who already have uh, notes okay you can copy down and for those who still don't have it's okay because i already uh i already record it Okay, then I will upload in YouTube so you can see on the YouTube and complete the notes. Okay, that been given. Okay, and then the next one is the velocity. So velocity is uh, displacement against time. Okay, sorry, displacement divided by time. So displacement the unit is in meter. Okay, and the time unit is in second. So it will become m s negative one. Okay, for momentum. Okay, momentum is a mass multiplied by velocity. Okay, so mass is in kg. Okay, velocity we already calculated before. So, ms negative 1. So, the answer should be kg ms negative 1. Okay, so how about the acceleration? Okay, so the acceleration is v minus u divided by t, right? Okay, final velocity minus initial velocity divided by time. Okay, 
So the unit for V and U is actually same, okay? Because both is also velocity, correct? Just the difference is one is the initial and another one is the final, okay? So we just only take one unit that is ms negative one, okay? And then we divide by time that is s. So you got ms negative two, right? For the force, okay? Force is mass time acceleration. Okay, so mass in kg, right? Acceleration, can okay, we already calculate, ms negative 2. So kg, ms negative 2. Okay, or, okay, I think you already know, force is actually, we can call it as a Newton. Okay, Newton N. Okay, so if you put kg, ms negative 2 also correct, if you put N also correct, okay? Okay, the next one is a force divided by area is a pressure. Okay, so force divided by area is actually equals to pressure. So force is uh, kg ms negative 2. Okay, so and we learn already area is m power of 2. Okay, so what you can do here, you can cut the m here. So, we be left kg as negative 2 and m over m, right? So, then m become m negative 1 as negative 2. Okay, so this is the unit. Okay, or, okay, that is a simple form, right? Because this one is too long. If you want to take the, put the unit, right? Kg m power negative 1 as power negative 2. So, you can put it as a Pascal. Okay, PA, right? So that is for pressure. Okay. All right. Next one is the work. Okay, so work is force multiplied by displacement. Okay, force we already know is in Newton. Okay. And time is in meter. You can put joule. This one we already learned on from 3, right? Okay, so Newton meter or we call it as a joule. Or, so there is another one. Okay, so we know force is kg ms negative 2, right? Uh, Newton is also kg ms negative 2, same, right? And then displacement is in meter. So this one, if you learn index, okay, so m power of Okay. So, same. Okay, this three is same. If you put this one also correct, this one also correct, this one also correct. Okay. And then for work, right? Work. So, we already answered before. And uh, M divided by time. So, time is second, right? So, you can put M as negative 1 okay or okay you can put newton meter here kg m square as negative 2 okay and then divide by s right okay so this one you can get uh, this one you can cut so this one will be like negative 1 so kg m square as negative 1 or we can put it as what? Okay. So this is the derivation okay, for all the physical quantities. So there is a lot more. Okay, So there is a lot more actually. Okay, but this one is the basic one. Okay. So far, is it okay for number one and fifteen? Anything you want to ask, teacher? No, teacher. No. All right. So let's see for this question for exercise one. Okay. So it says here the extension of the spring is directly proportional to the stretching force acting on it. Okay, so it can be shown by the following formula. F is equals to Kx where F is the force, K is the spring constant, X is the extension. Okay, so determine the unit of the spring constant K. 
Okay, so give you, they give you already the formula that is F is equals to Kx, right? And then the question asks you to determine the unit of K. So this one you have to put K as a subject first. Okay, so arrange it. K is equals to F over X, right? And then for the unit, okay, they already give you the force unit and also the extension of spring unit. Okay, and the unit for F is N. Okay, and the unit for extension is M. So, you get N, M, negative 1. Okay, or some of you may put it as N divided by M. Also can. Okay, so this is the answer for question number 1. Okay, you arrange first. Okay, make, make the K as the subject. Okay, and then you put the unit for each uh, physical quantity. Okay, so I hope you remember physical quantity. What is a physical quantity? Let's say if I have a pressure here. Okay, pressure. Okay, and then the unit, let's say 700 pascal. So this is called as a physical quantity. This is called as a magnitude. This is called as a unit. Okay. Right, so we do a retribution from form 1. Okay, so I hope remember about the prefix, right? Tera, giga, mega, kilo, hecto, deca, deci, centi, milli, micro, nano, pico, femto. Okay, so actually the one that you have to remember is until pico. Right, so tera is 10 power of 12, giga 10 power of 9, mega 10 power of 6. So this one you have to remember because sometimes they ask you to change the unit. Okay, this one you have to remember. Right, and then you have to convert to the standard form. Okay, I think this one you already learned. Right, so let's say if I got uh, 7,300. Okay, so how you want to convert it to the standard form? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, right? So, 7.3 times 10 power of 3. It says I have a 0 0.0076. Okay. So, how you want to change to the standard form? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, 7.6 times 10 power of negative 3. Okay, I can see right, the difference. So, negative this one is positive. Okay. So, I hope you still remember because this one in physics is quite important. Okay. Okay, and then I'm sure you already know about vernier calipers. Okay, so how you want to read a vernier calipers? Okay, so this is actually the revision for form one because I, I said maybe you are forgot already. Okay? Because this is actually the important parts in physics, but you have think you already learned in form one, so they don't put in, uh, they don't put it uh, in the form four syllabus because you already learned form one. But I'm sure some of you must already forget it. About. Forget about this one, okay? So, how you want to read? Okay, so the first one, you have to see where is the zero. So, the zero is here, right? Okay, so you make a line here. Okay, and then you have to read the main scale first, okay? So, this is called as a main scale and this is called as a vernier scale, okay? So, main scale 1.1, 1 .1, okay? Because it's not yet reached 1.2. So, stop until in the middle between 1.1 1 .1 and 1.2. So, you take 1.1. Okay. And then the second part, you have to read. Okay. At the vernier scale, which one? It will be like one line with the main scale. Okay. One straight line. So, let's see which one that will produce the same. Like this one, right? Uh, you can see the line is straight line here. Others, they're like not, they like cannot form a straight line like this. Okay. So, this one you have to read at the vernier scale. Okay. So, the vernier scale is 0 0.06. Okay. So, the reading is 1.16 cm. Okay. Uh, so, this one is actually the revi uh, revision. So, I repeat again. Okay, you have underline 0 here. You read 1. This is 1.1. 1. 1. 
Okay, so 1.1 and then the first one is 1.1 at the mean scale. For the vernier scale, you have to find which one the line is straight line. Okay, so you can see this one, right? So you read at the vernier scale, okay? So 6. Okay, but don't plus 6. Okay, plus 0 0.06. Okay, it add to decimal. Okay, so 1.16 cm. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, 1.16 cm. So you can see if you compare it to your ruler, okay, so your ruler is only can give until one decimal point. Okay, so you can only give one decimal point. Okay, but for vernier calipers, they can give until two decimal point. So I mean if you compare the sensitivity, Okay, so the vernier calipers is more sensitive than your ruler. Okay, so this one is without zero error. So I hope you can still remember what does it mean by zero error. Okay, so uh, what if the vernier calipers, okay, they got the zero error. So actually, can I ask, uh, do you still remember what is actually uh, zero error? Not a zero error. You know how how you want to know whether your vernier calipers has yes, zero error or not? Oh, okay, good. No one has a question to ask. What about charge? Uh, what charge? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't open check. Uh, subject speed. Uh, okay, uh, I will answer the question first before I move on to the next one. So, what, what, what do you mean by speed? Oh, charge, the formula. Okay, formula for charge. Uh, okay, wait, Sajid, I answer weekend question first. Okay, formula for charge. Q is equals to IT. Okay. Uh, I is the current, right? So the unit is in ampere. Okay. T is in second. Okay. So S, right? So AS, or we call it as a coulomb. And the symbol for the unit is C. Okay. So if I said seven coulomb, I mean this is the charge. Okay. All right. Is it okay, we can? Okay, all right. Um, speed, right? So, how about the speed? Uh, what does it mean by speed, Sajif? No, to check, just answer the question. Oh, all right, sorry. Okay, okay, any questions you want to ask? I'm sorry because I didn't open my uh, open the chat, so you did not see your questions. Anything you want to ask before I move on? All right. Okay, when you calipers with negative zero error. Okay, so you can see usually when there is no zero error, your line like this. Okay, uh, at the vernier scale, zero for vernier scale here, they move to the left, right? To the left, uh, to the left of the zero on the main scale. Okay. So you can see when it on the left, okay, we call it as a negative zero error. Okay, negative zero error. Okay, so how you want to read? Okay, so it's very easy. You can just find which one you can put in one straight line. So this one, right? Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so means 6, right? So negative 0 0.06. Okay, so this is the zero error. Okay, but, okay, but for vernier calipers with negative zero error, you cannot take it directly as negative 0 0.06. Okay, you have to minus first. Okay, so 0 0.1 minus 0 0.06. So, 0 0.04. Okay. So, actually, uh, then you can take 0 0.04 as the negative 0 error. 
So actually, what is the negative 0 area? Negative 0 for 0. Okay. This is only for this is only for negative 0 area for vernier calipers only. Okay. So I repeat again. You read. Okay. You find one line, straight line. And then you read at the vernier scale. Okay, so this one is 6, right? So, negative 0 0.06. Not negative 6, okay? Negative 0 0.06. Okay, but remember, for, for vernier calipers, negative 0 arrow cannot directly take. You have to minus first with 0 0.1. Okay, and then you minus, you've got 0 0.04. Then you can take the negative. 0 0.04 as your of negative there. Okay, because it said negative, right? So put the negative 0 0.04. Okay, negative 0 0.04. Okay, and then next one, what's the next step? Okay, so let's say I put an object there. So I measured. So I got this reading. Okay. Okay, so... This one is 3. Okay, this one that I did you before, like this guy. Okay, so sorry, this guy. Okay, so 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. Okay, so 3.3. Okay, plus. Okay, so you can see next one. You have to find which one is straight line, right? So this one, right? Okay, read at the vernier scale. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so plus 0 0.04. Okay, so. Uh, you got answer 3.34. Okay, you got 3.34. Right. So, after that, you have to minus with the, if you want to find the uh, correct reading. Okay. Uh, so, 3.34 minus with negative 0 0.06. Okay, and then you already learn negative, negative become positive. Right. Positive 0 0.06. So you got 3.40 cm. So this is actually the reading of the object. Okay. So remember if you want to find the correct reading. Okay. Find the uh, after you read the vernier calipers. Okay. And then you minus with the vernier, uh, with the negative 0 arrow. Yes. The 0 arrow is negative 0 0.04. Uh, negative 0 0.04. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. Okay, 3.38. Okay, 3.38. Okay, sorry. Thank you for not. This me. Okay. Mm, okay, so far, can you understand? Especially the RD learn by the anything you can just open your mind. Okay, what about if a positive zero area? So you can see the difference, right? From the first, this one, and this one. You can see the position of the zero here. The position of the zero here. The position of the zero here is on the positive side. Okay. So, it's a positive side. So, this one is a positive. Okay. So, you can see here uh, which one is the you know, one line is this one. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, positive 0 0.04. Okay. For this one, you don't need to minus. Okay. You just can straight away use it. Okay. Okay. And then, the next one is here. So, 3.1, 3.2, 3.3. This one is after I put an object and I want to measure it. Okay. So, 3.1, 2, 3.2, 3.3. So, 3.3. Okay, so this one is the same, right? 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, plus 0 0.04. So, you got 3.34. So, this is the reading of the object. Okay, but the problem is since the veneer calipers, they got the 0, positive 0 error. So, you need to minus first. So, you can get the correct reading. So, 3.34 minus positive 0 0.04. So, you got 3.30 cm. So, this is the correct reading for the veneer calipers.
Okay. Uh, my is pulled out. Okay, so how you want to read? This one with no zero error. Okay. So this 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. Is there any questions? Wait. Teacher, where the 0 0.1 from? Okay. You mean for the zero error, for the negative zero error for vernier calipers, is it? For vernier calipers, is it? Yes, okay. Alright, so good questions, right? Where does 0 0.1 come from? Okay, because you can see the reading here, right? The 0 is moved forward. Okay, you move forward, right? So you need to minus 0 0.1 because 0 0.1 is come from this scale. Okay, so this 0 .0 .0 .0, this is 0 0.01, right? 0 0.02. Wait, I, I uh, my screen is this is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, 0 0.05, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this one should be 0 0.10. Okay, 0 0.10 is actually come from the vernier scale. Okay, and you can see for the vernier scale, the scale is all moved forward. It should be in one line like this, right? It should be in one line like this. Okay, but the vernier scale, it moved forward. So you need to minus it. Okay, uh, so you can get the correct D. It's same like this one. They see you got a voltmeter, okay? And then your voltmeter is uh, not at zero, okay? Not at zero. So it may maybe is uh, move. Wait, wait, I cannot use. Um, wait, I found another example. Um, okay. They see I have a... Uh, voltmeter okay so voltmeter for here five and this one is zero okay what will you do if let's say you're, when you, you don't measure anything yet but your pointer is already put at two so you have to add after you read you have to plus two right because actually it should be here right so you have to add two Okay, but what if the scale is before zero? So, me show at zero. Okay, so for this one, zero for so vernier scale, uh, for the measure, uh, for the scale for vernier scale, the full scale is 0 0.1. And you can see the vernier scale is moved forward, right? So, mean if you want to find the real value you have to minus first okay so is it clear yes, okay so anything any more okay good thank you good question okay just ask anything you want to know okay so let's say for the micrometer screw gauge okay so the micrometer screw gauge without zero error okay so this is my one okay and then this one is 35 36 37 38 so plus 0 0.38 sorry 2.5 plus 0 0.38 so you got 2.88 okay all right so what's the difference between the micrometer screw gauge and the vernier calipers right the unit okay for the micrometer screw gauge the unit is in mm Okay, so that's why if you measured uh, if you measured the vernier calipers of micrometer screw gauge, you better put the unit. If not, they got the same decimal uh, point, right? So you don't know which one is cm. Is it, if you put cm, then you know this is vernier caliper. If you put mm, then you know this is micrometer screw gauge. Okay, so put the unit, right? Or any actually any measuring instrument, if you put the if you put the value, make sure you write the unit. Okay, because physics is actually basically about unit. Okay, uh, unit is very, 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 very important in physics. Okay. So this is the how you read for the micrometer screw gauge with no zero error. Okay. And the next one, 
what is the how you want to read if the micrometers to got to the positive zero error okay so positive zero error how you want to know whether it's positive or negative so you only see the positive uh, the zero on these sides so you can see the zero on this side they are on the upper part of the zero on this or the veneer scale so this is a positive zero error okay so what if negative uh, so you can see the negative this is zero is below below the zero for veneer scale if it's upper it's a positive this is negative okay okay so let's go to the positive first okay so positive right this is zero this is one so positive zero point zero one right this is without object okay and then you measure something let's say you measure your pencil or something okay so this is one one point five 1.5 so you got 1.76 right so 1.76 okay how, how you want to find the, the zero error so 1.76 minus positive 0 0.01 so you will got 1.75 okay but remember put limit okay so this is called positive zero error Okay, so what about for negative? Okay, so this is not positive. This is actually negative. Okay, negative zero error. So you can see the zero here is a below zero at the vernier scale. Okay, so how you want to read? Make sure you read from zero. Don't read from 45, 46, 47. It's wrong, okay? Read from zero. Okay, one, two, three. So it should be negative 0 0.03. Okay, let's go with the, the gauge. You don't need just straight away use it. Okay. So negative 0 0.03 mm. Okay, and this one is 6.5. Okay, 6.5, So plus 0 0.16. So you've got 6.66. Okay, so how you want to find the correct reading? 6.66 minus negative 0 0.03. So you got negative, negative becomes positive. Right? So you got 6.69 mm. Okay? Are you clear? Anything you want to ask me? No, teacher. No, thank you. Okay, first. Okay, so I will put the uh, the record and the video put on the YouTube one. I already upload uh, the link. I will give in the group so you can watch. You can complete your notes. Okay, so please make sure for those to say you want to come to school and take, make sure you take it. Okay. So if any plus yes all right thank you we can for okay for books i only want okay for notes we don't have for the notes book uh, because i or i will give you handout okay so we don't need a notes book i spoke for uh, if i need it if not i will just use a uh, handout okay and then for experiment, yes, okay, I need a book for one book for the experiment. Okay, so that's yeah, I'll leave that. Yeah, anything? Anything you want to ask? Okay. No, all right, thank you. Okay, so I see you the next junior class. Okay, so uh, take care, right? Uh, two books, yeah. One experiment, one exercise, correct. No need the uh, notes. Okay, notes I will give in the all right. So thank you, class. Right? Can I, right? Can I see you? All right, my laptop. <laughs>
also small book. Uh, no, experiment should be the experiment uh, like from three use one the uh, the the long book, the long book, the one the 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 at the front. Yeah, yeah, the long book. The there are two pages, right? So at the back there must be empty, no no line. Yeah, yeah. buku kedai no stop. <laughs> Buku kedai no stop. Oh, buku kedai is uh, not not open yet, right? Uh, don't worry, we are not we are not using it now. We are not using it now. Okay, I think I I don't know when. Okay, we we are not using it now. For now, we only use uh, notes and the tutorial that I will give it to you. Last time I go to buy no stop. Mm, yeah, maybe because of PKP, right? So maybe uh, they have a problem transport. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it's not open. Okay. Uh, so uh, anything else? I hope I can see you soon. And for those who want to see me, actually, I don't have camera on my laptop. <laughs> I'm using a laptop that I don't have camera, sorry. <laughs> you can see me later when you come to school, okay? <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye -bye. Uh, no, no, no need. I already record in the Google. So you can see this is your attendance. Thank you, Dr. Oh, this is your attendance. I already recorded. Okay. So thank you, class. Alright, thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Thank okay, you, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Teacher. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.